This week, a new self-driving car was rolled out. It's a collaboration between Chrysler and Waymo, a spin-off of Google X, the search giant's highly secretive special projects lab. They opened their offices to Vice News for a rare glimpse of what they're building and shared never-before-seen footage of their early prototypes. You can't walk down the street in San Francisco without seeing a car with a spinning tassel of lasers speed by. Ford, Toyota, Nissan, Honda, all have self-driving car projects. Uber has autonomous cars already picking up riders in Phoenix. It's a self-driving arms race. There have been self-driving cars in certain guises for a long time. Look, no hands. The electronics revolution, when people started to think, wow, we could actually control cars and have them on the road. And this was a lot of you know, burying wires in the middle of the lane so that the car can follow it. Then it actually started to become a little bit real. For example, in 1995, NavLab, which was a project at Carnegie Mellon, drove across the United States, 98% of it, no hands, no hands touching the wheel. Google saw all of this progress that had been made, and they decided, let's see where we can go from there. Google hired those early car hackers, including Nathaniel, a roboticist from Carnegie Mellon, then decided to try to make it a business, which has been harder than the company expected. First, there was a 2009 retrofitted Prius, then a Lexus SUV. In 2014, they made their own car from the ground up, the prototype, a little bubble car without a steering wheel at all. Which brings us to Waymo which is what the company now is calling their self-driving car project. Yes, Waymo. You know you're in Silicon Valley now. Here's me and my big ham hands all over the wheel right now while I'm doing this. Auto driving. Hands off. Is the car an extra safe driver, would you car say? car is an extra safe driver. I mean, in general, we can... So like we're talking like a grandma level? Or grandma like... level. Well, it's not exactly grandma level. It's assertive. But it's very safe. It remembers all the steps every time. So if it's uh, going to make a turn, it remembers to turn the turn signal on every time. If there's a pedestrian getting out of a car over there, all of that information. We build a model of the world, and then that gets pulled into the planner. And the planner has to decide, hey, is that cyclist going to keep going straight, or are they going to make a turn? Never get scared test driving. The unpredictability of a human being, that is what scares me the most when I'm in this car. Yeah. Humans are terrible drivers. Humans are shockingly I terrible. sit on Instagram while I'm driving. <laughs> Didn't hear that. The different Google car models have had similar technology, lasers, radar, and cameras. The car makes a 3D model of the world around it and can differentiate between a pedestrian, a bicycle, or a duck. Waymo recently started making these tools in-house. And this new car is basically a tricked-out Chrysler, a compromise from early visions of building a vehicle from scratch. If I crouch down here, um, that thing up on the roof can't see me. So there's actually four lasers that provide kind of complete blind spot coverage all around the car. Now the laser data is uh, fairly short range, like I was saying, out to about 10 meters or so, and it can see a lot of detail. The radars can actually see way out far. They can see about 200 meters out, and they are really good at picking up motion. That's all you care about at long distance. If can you, I break it if I, with you this, You probably it? can break okay, it if I can. you whack it with a cricket bat, yeah. Okay, no breaking. No, no breaking. Do you think culturally Americans can handle self-driving cars? Driving is sold to us as that sitting in your convertible, top down, breeze through your hair. But for most of us, driving is a 50 minute commute each way, every day. The company's been developing this car for years, spending untold millions, and you still can't buy a thing. Now, late entries into the race like Uber might even overtake them. Our cars have more experience, our technology is based off of more experience, our solutions are based off of more experience. So what I am pretty confident in is saying is that we have run into more problems than anybody else. If it seems strange a search engine company would be building a car, it is. And a lot of these moonshot projects have been getting killed lately by CFO Ruth Porat. So long fiber optic cabling, solar powered drones, and modular phones. But not today for Waymo. Their first product is hitting the road for testing. A huge moment for longtime believers like Nathaniel. When will I be able to buy this car? Aha, good question. When it's ready. Which is... Soon. <laughs>